So this first one, we are multiplying. You're going to multiply the coefficients. Those are the big numbers. Add the exponents. So 3 times 10 will give you 30. That you can put in the calculator, I suppose. And then for x, you want to add the exponents. So it would be 4 plus 7, which is 11. Other than that, the calculator really doesn't do much for you with these problems. I mean, I guess if you forgot what 3 times 10 was or if you had some really big numbers, you could type that in. But otherwise, like, calculator doesn't do too much here. All right, here we're raising to the second power. You're going to do the number, then the x, then the y, like three separate problems, OK? Negative 5 squared. That means negative 5 times negative 5. What will that give you? Why is it positive? Negatives cancel, 25. Now, what's the rule for a power to a power? Power means you're going to multiply. So for the x, you are doing 6 times 2. Can you take the earbud out of your ear and look up here? I'm going to hand you a quiz at the end of the class. Thank you. All right, and for the y, you're going to multiply 3 times 2. You get 6. Next one, we're dividing. Again, do the numbers, then the x, then the y. It's like three separate problems. 35 divided by 5. Now, that you could type in the calculator if you didn't know what that was or you forgot. That's, yes. Yeah. Oh, we did negative 5 squared. That means negative 5 times negative 5. That's where we got the 25. That part you could put into Desmos. Here, I'll show you. Like, like it'll do the numbers. It won't do the exponent part for you. But look, if you put in negative 5 to the second, like, it'll give you 25. Like, that part the calculator will do. All right, so here, we're doing 35 divided by 5. Does anyone know that or want to type it in? That would be 7. And then we're going to subtract our exponents. So for the x, 5 minus 2 would be 3. And for the y's, a little tricky, it would be 12 minus... One, if there's nothing written, it's a one. So 12 minus one, 11. Let's try it again. Now you're all super excited. This is, it's just drill and practice. Do the numbers first. You have negative two over eight. You're just reducing the fraction. How would you reduce negative two eighths? It'll be one over what? Fourth. And it'll be negative just because there's a negative in the pub. So negative one fourth. I'm going to make the fraction bar a little bit bigger. What do you notice about the x's? You have to look and notice. What do you see about them? It's the same. So what happens? They cancel. The common mistake I get is people are just putting an x in there. If they cancel, they're gone. Don't put anything. OK? Now, treat the other part like a tug of war. Which side is winning, the top or the bottom? The bottom by how much? Six, good. So treat it like a tug of war. This one is just a single number answer with no work. What is anything to the zero power? One, anything, you could put anything in those parentheses you want to the zero power is gonna be one. And if you forget that, you could type that in the calculator. It won't do like the X and the Y, but you could type 10 to the zero. It'll tell you one. So if you forget, you can type it in. The rule is anything to the zero power gives you one. That, that was anything in the world to the zero power is going to give you one. Here, I'll show you. If we go over here, it was, I think, 10 to the zero. Oh, wait, I typed a lot of things that don't belong in there. Making it worse. There we go. So if you ever forget, you can type it in any number you want to the zero power and it'll tell you one. All right, here, we're going to square everything. Can we close the Chromebook then? So we're going to do the five and then the three and then the x. Five squared. That means five times five. Did you be, oh, I think you overshot it a little bit. Yeah, 25. Thank you. Good. And then the three, three squared. That would mean three times three, which is nine. That part you could put in the calculator. It'll do numbers. It just won't do the variables part. So when you do a power to a power, what's the rule? You're going to multiply. So for the x, it would be, the number's a little for me, six times two. 
12. Are hanging in there? I know it's like not super interesting. I didn't get to decide what the curriculum is, so stick with me, all right? Here, we're gonna take all of this to the third power and then multiply them together. This is a two-part problem, all right? So we're doing three to the third. What that means is three times three times three. So you can either like count on your fingers or do that in your head, or you can type in the calculator. Does anyone remember what it was? I think we talked about it last time. 27, perfect. And then look, you have to look. X to the third. There's nothing with the X, so it's just going to be X to the third. And then what would it be for the Y? We're doing a power to a power. 15, good. Five times three is 15. And then the second part, we're not changing that. So, you know, just, hey, Ms. Cole, it looks like you just copied it down. Sure did. Now we're going to multiply them together. 27 times, you do the numbers first, then the X's, then the Y's. 27 times seven. I actually do not know that one. I know I'm a big disappointment to you here, but let me type that in. 27 times seven, a big number, 189. I just typed it in the calculator. So 189. Now do the X's. It would be what? Five, why five? Three plus two is five. All right, and then for the Y's, it would be 20, 15 plus five. Cool, let's do it again. <laughs> do the numbers, then the X's, then the Y's. Five times negative four, negative 20. Now do the X's. 10, seven plus three is 10. And then for the Y's, be careful. If there's nothing written here, what is it? It's a one, so two plus one is three. I'm not trying to put you to sleep, but this is what it is. You gotta get through it, okay? Now we're gonna take all of this to the fourth. You can type the number in the calculator. It just won't do the X's and Y's. If you wanna do negative two ooh, to the fourth, you can type that in the calculator. I think this can We can pop that back on. All right, did you guys see how I just typed this in? Got 16? With me here? All right, so negative two to the fourth, that was 16. Look, do you see anything with the X? Hey, Cameron, you have to extra pay attention because you weren't here last time. Do you see anything with the X? No, so it'll just be X to the fourth. And then what about the Y? Y eight, because that's correct. Two times four is eight. All right, here we're gonna take all of this to the third. I need to do six to the third power. Let me come over here to my calculator and type in six to the third. Oh, why does it always do that to me? There we go. Six to the third, 216. I just typed it in, there it is. Power to a power means you're going to multiply. So for X, that would be two times three is six. For Y, Nine times three is 27. Here's an easier one. You're dividing, so what are you gonna do to the exponents? Subtract, seven minus four is three. Now we have negatives, okay? Negatives are the traitors. First of all, we're multiplying. When you're multiplying, you're going to add. Negative two plus negative seven will be negative nine. I'm not gonna leave it like that though. It has to go down to the denominator. So when you draw a fraction bar, those X's go down here. You can't leave the numerator empty though. So what goes there is gonna be a one. So remember the negatives switch sides. The negatives are the traitors. They go to the other side. Let's try it again. 32, divide, remember do the number, then the X, then the Y. 32 divided by four. If you don't know it, you can type that part in the calculator. The calculator will do numbers. That'll give us eight. All right, let me draw my fraction bar and we'll play tug of war. For the X's, which side wins, the top or the bottom? I know, I'm sorry, it's kind of small. There, really zoomed in. 
The bottom wins by how much? Five. Do you see that? Seven minus two. All right, look here. Do you see how these y's are negative? They're going to go to the other side. It is like this. You have eight people on this team and two people on this team. But those two are traitors, and they're going to go to the other side. So when they leave and go join the other team, how many are on that team now? Ten. Ten. Eight plus two equals ten. Here, we're going to need to raise all of this to the second power and all of this to the third power. Six squared will give you 36. Six times six. Power to a power means you're going to multiply. Three times two is six. Five times two is 10. All right, on the bottom, eight times three is 24. Negative one times three will give us what? It'll just be negative three. And then we have to simplify that. This was a two-step problem. Do you see any other number here? Like we have a 36, do I have any other number here? No, so it's just gonna stay 36. Like that doesn't simplify with anything. So it was V36. Playing tug of war, which side wins for X? The bottom, by how much? 18. What do you notice about these Ys? They're what? They're negative. That means they're gonna go. So those three go up here and join those 10. And now we have 13 total. 10 over here, three over here. Those three go join the other side. So 10 plus three is 13. All right, last one. See how these three are negative? Where are they going to go? To the bottom. So there's three on this team, 12 on this team. These three are going to switch sides. So how many are down there now? 15. I can't leave the top blank, though, so what goes there? Beautiful. 